every little point of experience, no matter how big or small, shapes an unpredictable destiny. Manon, a fictional novel, opera and ballet of incredible hardship that fills Tim Cantor's heart with drama. His is his own wayward portrayal of this heartbroken hero. The tale of an opulent woman in love spirals into banishment, slavery and ultimately to a lonely demise. The overwhelming emotion he intrinsically brushes into the scope of his paintings comes now into this interpretation of Manon, a persona whose gaze weeps the ultimate in operatic tragedy. Tim Cantor's representation goes far beyond that of a portrait painting. There is a story in the eyes, the hands, curiosity in the details, a wonder that makes one thirst for more deepening answers, and to question not who this person is, but what is her story. What does she see, and what are the thoughts she is thinking, and what has caused her pain? For Tim, operas and ballets like Manon twist the worst of fears into something beautiful. The saddest thoughts melt into the most exquisite dreams. There is beauty in life that far outweighs the end. There becomes something indescribable when drama is told in the strings of violins, in the movements of a ballerina, and in the mastery of a painting. It overwhelms. It enchants. It pries out the best of humanity through the telling of the worst. As for Tim Cantor's portrayal of Manon, all of his own visual experience was painted into the soul of his semblance, not holding back on his depiction. He paints her drastic yet fair damaged, yet divine. And out of this shrewd contrast, he inevitably compels us to search. A thousand questions arise. A thousand stories emerge. To us, without end, she is the face of our own inquisitions and interpretations. To Tim Cantor, she is Manon.